Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, folks. I hope you all are having a wonderful evening. Did you get a chance to see Jupiter? Uh, you could go outside. It's visible with the eye, or you could see it. A lot of people had it up online, you know, with live uh, telescopes and things like that. It's absolutely beautiful. It's the closest to the Earth that it's been in our lifetime, and it won't be that close again for hundreds and hundreds of years. So that's fantastic. Um, anyway, since is well, it's actually Monday at 11:30 p.m., so it's basically Tuesday. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call it Terrific Tuesday. I'm doing great, guys. I love you guys. I miss you guys, but I don't get to come around as much. However, let me talk to you about something. So, you know, we're, me, Joyce, I won't put it on you, wondering what is Mayor Garland doing that's taking so long to get Trump, right? Every time something else comes out about Trump, we're like, oh, this, he should get arrested, he should get arrested, he should get arrested. And then I saw an interview with the former assistant AG, uh, what's his name? Jim Walden. And he talked about the approach that Merrick Garland would have to take. Um, and he can't, Merrick Garland does not have the opportunity to go case this case and that case. Though He almost has to do them all at once. And so Camille's going to put, it's going to be on this side probably. Um, she's going to put in a graphic of... Uh, of what it looks like and so he created Jim Walden this hub and with all these little wheels around so in the center of, or in the hub is the names of various people Jim couldn't put them all in there's so many people I'm going to list some of those people in that center hub and we've got Donald Trump Roger Stone Mark Meadows Steve Bannon Rudy Giuliani uh, John Eastman uh, Mike Flynn, Sidney Powell, Mike Lindell, the pillow guy. There's more and more and more. But that would be your hub. Like, almost as if, I'm telling you, this guy thinks he is the mob. Like this mafia group of people. Like these mafia bosses and they're hitmen and they're flunkies and all of that. Out from the hub are different wheels, right? That says what the collective charges could be. So we've got... Um, insurrection, of course, we got witness tampering, he did that. We've got fundraising frauds, we've got insurrection murder, someone lost their life, the police officer. We've got the fake electors they tried to bring up. We've got money laundering uh, for Trump. We've got the obstruction of Congress by trying to interrupt the whole count of the votes. We have the voting systems, you know, the voting machines and the tampering and all of that. And then we have the murder conspiracy case. We didn't, we've never even talked about that. That was a murder conspiracy case on Mike Pence when they were like, let's hang them and let's do this and that to him. Trump was like, yeah, get it done. Get her done, you know. And so it would have to be a case that that was that big. And uh, Mayor Garland could put everything together. And it would be considered a rico conspiracy case and money laundering would be the case that uh that right now jim walden is simply speculating that they could put together for trump and he would do time for these things so that's what i'm going to look at will there be a rico conspiracy case or money laundering is that what you're doing merrick garland because um, he was saying that Merrick Garland is a very exacting person. I think we've all kind of come to know that. But he's got a whole lot of evidence. Even January, or excuse me, the um, the hearings are going to start again. I think it's the 28th, September 28th, I'll be there for that. Um, and they've got even 800,000 more pieces of documents of evidence. Not to mention the fact all the, the, e, the emails... Uh, the text, but from Mark Meadows, who they say Mark Meadows had the most busiest phone. If you watch 60 Minutes, you saw um, Kellerman or something like that, the guy that did all of the looking at the data uh, for whatever for everything that was going on. The reason he actually left the hearing uh, as part of the hearing is because he wanted Jenny Thomas to be subpoenaed, and they wouldn't do it. And it was only after he quit that they say, okay. She's got to come. She's going to get subpoenaed if she doesn't come. Now she's volunteering coming because with Mark Meadows 
uh, all the information that he's turned down and he's and Mark Meadows has spilled out everything he's he's in the CYA situation um, she has no choice but to come forward so let me see will this be Mayor Garland is tight you know I can't even feel his energy he's so tight not tight as a nervous like this is a guy you could tell him your deepest darkest 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 secrets in the back of your closet and he would keep it he's that tight so i'm looking to see if i see anything that shows me that this is going to be uh not just speculated but actually a rico case and money laundering Hmm. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to put a yes on that. I've got the moon. Moon. Justice. And the queen of pentacles. So the moon tells me with in terms of the Rico aspect, the conspiracies, the secrets, the lies that have been uncovered, the deception that Trump was under, all these flunkies were under. They knew better, okay? But they were under all this deception. Nobody was coming to the light to, to tell Donald Trump to wake up, fool. You know, they would not do that. And now Mayor Garden has almost everything he needs. He's brought them out of their... Um, emotional madness that's what i'm putting out of the emotional madness into the light he is very dogmatic because there's a dog in there dogmatic being uh loyal to the united states and to his position and that comes with him um very loyal very dutiful but don't play him short he's got the wolf too that says i will bite your head off for sure I'm coming all the way. And then you got these two canines who are going to sniff out the truth in anything. This stuff that y'all was doing in the dark is coming to the light. Because that's what it is. Anyways, whatever you do in the dark comes to the light. And that is the moon. This is almost, yeah. What you do in the dark comes to the light. You are not covered anymore by your lies or these people that you had working for you. Here's the rub that I just, I say it all the doggone time. These people just don't seem to understand. Anytime you align yourself with Donald Trump, you're going down. I don't care what or whatever, but you're going to go down. And then we have justice. Yeah, that is Mayor Garland. Justice is coming for Trump. He will be successful in this suit. If he takes it this way, it will be successful for him. He is weighing out, you know, we have the scale and we have the sword of truth. We've got the Temple of Solomon is behind the, the, the justice. The justice is pure. The justice is passionate. The justice is the purple loyal. The justice is, is real and down to earth. And so we've got, it's like I'm weighing which way to go. Or I should do both of these ways because he already knows I like I got one shot, one kill, baby, and that's it. And so he's got to have all his ducks in a row, and he will. And he's his sword says it's the sword of truth, it's the sword of, of clarity. Okay, that he's gonna cut through all this BS of Donald Trump and his lawyers and all this trying to hide behind. You know, he is tired of you throwing rocks and hiding your hands. Point blank is simple. And so he's cutting through to the truth of it. And then as it comes to the uh, money laundering, we got the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles loves her money. She loves her finery. She does. She loves fine things. She loves a lavish lifestyle. She can take care of herself or someone can take care of her, but it's going to be lavish. And so they have this desire to have this crazy abundance you don't know, like it's a greed that you and i can't even think of it's that kind of greed it's not a greed like i'm gonna get the the big chicken side piece of chicken and you're gonna get the wing no this is an incredible greed that they were all too happy happy to work together in you got the nine of cups with the queen of pentacles they were very happy 
on doing this money laundering aspect, especially as it comes to winning the election, because there's money in that uh, money laundering, uh, the the um, uh, raising up the funds and stuff for the supposed re-election, all these, they were more than happy to do this. This was about money at the end of the day. And they always say, follow the money. And this was about money. Yes, th this will be a RICO case. He's going to have a lot of, Merrick Garland, he's going to have a lot of support. Other lawyers are going to come in. They're going to be very, three of cups. They're going to be working together. They're going to be collaborating with one another. They're going to share all documents and pieces of information, and they're coming with it. And they already know we're golden. We don't have to fight this. It is Donald Trump, nine of wands, who will be defending himself. He'll keep trying to defend himself. He's exhausted at this point, but he's going to defend himself. Problem is, he's not going to be able to defend himself from these things. This is the way Mayor Garland is going to call it. Everything is happening fast. Like he's getting all the last pieces together. He's got to wait on some other um, hearings, testimony, but he's got everything. He really has got everything that he needs, especially after getting those documents he needed when Judge Deary released those 100 pages that he needed. And what they're doing right now is he got the he's gotten the paperwork. He's got the paperwork. He's got the great news is happening quick and he's working. This is uh this is someone who is working hard, okay? And they're gonna stick to it and they're going to perfect it, okay? This is somebody who cares about what they're doing. And if something doesn't look right, he'll throw it away and he'll go back at it again. So yes, he's gonna charge it that way. Absolutely. I wanna say, like it or not, he might even be a little bit obsessed with this. Like, I think he's got a hundred percent conviction rate. But he's very obsessed with this because when you've got justice looking you dead in the eye with a pure heart and a pure mind, they have nothing to gain financially. And they got all your secrets back here and they're balancing the way they made the decision to move forward. They can become obsessed with this case. And I think he's a bit obsessed with it. He's obsessed with getting it right. OK, he's obsessed with the perfection of it is. He is obsessed with, you're not getting away with this. This is your time that you are going down. And you know what? He's going to do the work. He's the emperor. He's sitting on his own throne. This is a man that moves with purpose and intention, who delegates different tasks, who is great to work for. Um, yeah, he's got the world in his hand. He's got the ankh in his hand, and he is prepared to do the work that needs to be done. He is. He's sitting in this like cement uh, throne that says, I'm I'm fixed. I'm certain. I'm not going to be dissuaded. You don't have an argument against me. You don't. You're done. Yeah. So, yeah, he is going to run it like that. I, this is not really this is not me. This is from Jim Walden. Uh, he is, was the assistant AG. And I agree that he will do this as a RICO conspiracy and money laundering case because that way he can take all those pieces and put them together in one big wheel. You know, like you have a bike and you have the hub in the middle and the wheel around. He can put all that together with that type of a case. So anyways, I just thought I would share that with you guys. Um, anyways, guys, you have a nice, well, it's 1130, so have a nice night or uh, have a good day tomorrow. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye now.